Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian Boyle from Brian Boyle Music and the Producers Forum, back again with yet another Pro Tools tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the workspace or the finder to build a beat within Pro Tools. My guess is that a lot of you are comfortable using drum machines that are popular in such programs as Reason or Fruity Loops that break the drum patterns down into 16th notes. We're going to do exactly that by setting the Pro Tools grid to 16th notes and dragging our samples in to the session. So enough talk, let's just get started. Alright, so I've got a completely blank session to start with here. You can see my tempo is set to 126 beats per minute. Uh, feel free to double click on this and set yours to the same uh, if you would like to follow along. I will be using certain drum sounds um, that I've also made available in the video description. Uh, feel free to just click the link and a zipped file of those samples should begin downloading and you can follow along with me. Generally when I start making a beat the first thing I like to do is make the kick and snare. So I'm going to drag in the kick and snare first. I'm going to go to Window, Workspace, uh, and you see there was also a shortcut you can do option semicolon and that brings up your workspace as well I'm gonna click on Macintosh HD and applications where I have my drum folders select uh, saved in reason and here is my workspace kit which is available in the video description Now you can see I've got several sounds here, K long, K short. These are my kicks, so I'm going to bring these in first. I'm going to highlight both of them by shift selecting them and just dragging them into our session. Now you can see that I've created two separate tracks. I'm going to mute the short one for now and just place the long kick. If you hit Command F, you can fade the beginning and end of any audio region without having to do, um, without having to zoom in and use the fade tool. I'm just going to select eight milliseconds because it's a kick. I like it to be nice and long. And then the rest of these I'm going to put on quarter notes. All right, so let's take a listen to our kick pattern on loop. All right, so you get the idea, pretty straightforward. Now the next thing I like to do is add a snare. So let's go to the workspace again, and I've got my snare long and snare short here. I'm gonna select both these samples and drag them in. I'm going to have the short snare hit first on the quarter and the long snare hit second. I'm going to copy these out to the next measure by hitting by selecting a full measure and, and hitting command D for duplicate. And now let's take a listen to this. Alright, so again, pretty simple but very straightforward. I've got my grid up here set to 16th notes, and as I mentioned before, this is very similar to uh, any drum machine that you work with in Reason or Fruity Loops or Logic. Oftentimes, the interval that the drum machines are set to is 16th notes. So, working in the grid on 16th is a good way to visualize your drum machine patterns in Pro Tools. Okay, so next I think we'll add a symbol and, um, and loop this whole two bar pattern. Let's head over to the workspace one more time. I've got my symbol here. Select it and drag it in. Uh, if you notice too, there's some, there's some dead space right in the beginning. So I'm gonna zoom in and just trim that space off give it a little fade so it doesn't clip 
cut it off here, fade it. And now we've got a full loop. So let's take a listen to this. All right, so that's how you use the workspace to build a beat in Pro Tools. Again, if you have it set to 16th notes, it's just like building a beat in a drum machine, except all the tracks are visualized and you can see the intervals separately. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them on the video below, uh, and I'd be happy to get back to you and answer any questions you might have. Also, just a reminder that brianboylemusic.com now offers personal one-on-one -on -one Pro Tools lessons. Uh, for more information, please visit brianboylemusic.com. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you found this helpful. Follow me on Twitter at brianboylemusic. And as always, keep on making music.